the performance under Modi has been subpar. The 10 years before Modi came to power, Indian economy is growing at 7.6% uh, per annum. Under Modi, growth rate has come down to 5.6%. Even if we live outside the COVID period, is 6.8%. What I would say is, but for Modi, would have reached the third place faster than it is going to happen. Yes. And this deceleration in the economy is because of Modi's blunders, like demonetization, the contractionary fiscal and monetary stance that was taken in the first term of his, the, uh, the, the kind of policies that he pursued in the COVID, the stimulus, fiscal stimulus was the lowest for India in the world countries. All this contributed to this outcome of deceleration of the economy. He alone is responsible for this because his economic decision makes a maverick here. How, is, how do you explain the monetization? The half a certain manner in which uh, GST was rolled out. So, under him, the economy has come down. Despite that Tom Tomming about 7.3% uh, growth. Fact remains agriculture grew at 1.8%. Industry's growth rate has been low. The capital, private capital formation has come down. And it is also fact that demand, aggregate demand is below par. One would have expected that finance minister take a expansionary stance. Instead, she has chosen a contractionary policy again. Last year, government has been reached GDP of 15.1 percent. This year, it is 14.6 percent. There's no rational way of describing what they are trying to do. No, they have double standards, basic asymmetry. Look, central government's last year budget revised estimate for fiscal deficit 5.8% and current uh, one is 5.1%. Kerala is only 35 and it was cut normal borrowing and it's less than 2% current year. That's what I uh, estimate. The law of the land is clearly applicable for center and state. How come Kerala is penalized? Well, center a finance minister can merely go on having 5.8, 5.1 uh, fiscal deficit. So, Kendra is going to punish Kerala, saying it is fiscally stressed. Look here, central government's revenue, not revenue, receipts, 28% from borrowing. Kerala is only 20%. Central government's uh, uh, expenditure, Interest comes 20 percent. Kerala it is only 14 percent. How come Kerala is considered fiscally stressed? So this is some point that we are going to campaign in Kerala. How BJP is trying to throttle Kerala, and this budget exposes the gates.